Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for the 17th of July. I'm starting with the DAX on the weekly chart here. This is what I think the count is here, that we have wave 3 top here, and an A and a B and a C here for wave 4, and we're looking up this as wave 1 and 2 here, and then 3 and 4 and 5. Um, I have got other counts, but this is the one that I like the most. Um, uh, all of these trends here have, have, have got inconsistencies uh, in them and they're a little bit tricky to, um, to, to, to figure out. So we'll keep this in mind. Um, the, the thing, the takeaway here is, as I've said before, is that this move down through here is corrective. So we'd be taking out this top here. So this is the likely scenario. This little move up through here it can be counted as wave one, and we'd pull back for wave two at 12,000. Um, the other count with this, let's go in and have a little look at this. I've got two little counts in here. It's just not clear, but um, we could always just take the next logical step um, to stay safe and make coin. So let's just go into the daily chart here. So this one here and two here is just what you've seen on the weekly chart here. But the count that I've been tracking for this has been one and two here and then one and two and three and four and five for the third and the fourth and going up here. There's a couple of little issues with this. This is okay um, uh, here at the moment as it as it stands, but um, yeah, so um, <laughs> it's, it's just not very clear in here. Um, it's also possible, as I just mentioned then, to have copy this to have all of this here as one and two and three and four and five here for wave one and wave two here would bring us back to this area here so this would be down for one at this particular point here back for two uh sorry an a wave a b wave and a c wave pulling back to the 61.8 percent mark at 12,000, uh and then moving up through there so i can count this in two ways of having one, two, three, four here, but we really don't want to see it any lower than this here. So we really need to see this push up from that point. So we would look to go long on top of 12,500. That would be our long trade um, at that point. Um, otherwise, the market can move to the 500 and fail and then move down from that point. And then if that's the case, then we know that we've got wave one and two in play here. We'll go to the four hour and the hourly chart to pull that apart a little bit further here. So on the four hour chart here, I was counting this up. This is why it's just not clear. One and two and three and four and five here for one and two here. Then one and two and three and four here and five here for the third wave. The fourth wave could pull back <clears throat> to the 38.2% retracement level, which is here, or the wave four of one lesser degree here. So um, I don't really want to see wave four make a new low here. Really, we need to climb above this um, 12,500 here for our long trades, because otherwise um, we would look for this move down through here, back up to here. Let's just stretch this out a little bit here. So that's the sort of target area that we can come to. <clears throat> we can come up to this area. We're kind of there already, really, in a way, um, and then come down into here for a larger A, B, and C here for that particular wave two that I'd mentioned here. So that way we would look at all of this as... as um, as wave one to the upside, an A and a B and a C back to here. So, um, yeah, so just refining this a little bit further and just going back over what I said, if we get a nice tested support on 12,500, then we'll go long from that point and then we'll be heading up towards 12,800 or 13,000 at that point. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty simple at that point. So let's just go into the hourly chart and have a look at this here. So, so 
I can count this down here as five waves down here. So that was my sort of thing here. So um, it's not the clearest five waves I've ever seen, that's for sure. Um, uh, a little bit tricky. So uh, what we can do here is just, just be a little bit patient. So let's just imagine the market moves up into the into this space here, the 50, 60% retracement level at 500. It's all really about the 500 at this particular point, and that's where the resistance is here. We're going to see some sort of correction here, but um, if we get, say, the market, let's just say the market moves up to this point, it will react from this point, and then it'll have its first high above the level, if that's going to be the case. And if that is going to be the case, well, that high will give us our reference point and our trigger to go to the long side at that point so we can go that way or the second high here or we can draw a line through here whatever it doesn't really matter but any of these are breached and we can just go to the upside here so that's really what that means there but otherwise um, it can move up create the first high above the level and then move down into wave c at that point which would have us as wave two at that point okay um, if it fails so that takes care of the long trade, okay, um, in that degree of structure as a position trader rather than scalping, you know. Um, also, too, this low here, if that's breached for whatever reason, let's just say that the market doesn't get up to that point and just uh, fails from that point, um, expecting it to move up. But if it fails from that point and moves down, well, then we can be triggered in short here and we'll be moving in through group one here. Group one here, group one is always um, one, two, and three here, and you can expect the market to be quite bouncy between these between these numbers. But either way, we would be looking for a little bit of equality between wave A here, um, wave B, and then wave C here. So wave A and C having a little bit of equality, um, and also wave C here would have five waves here as well. So um, yeah. Just not quite. I can't just quite nail it down um, on the intraday basis for for us on on this here. So let's have a look at the FTSE. Oops, that's the S and P. Oh, while we're here, actually, the S and P five hundred here. Also looking for a pullback in this area here as well. We've counted all the little waves to the upside here. Um, and once again, if I'm wrong here on the S&P 500, we'll go along above this point, above these highs here, but otherwise we'll look down as one and two here and three and four and five. So kind of expecting the S&P to move down, but I don't have any evidence um, of that yet. But if that's the case, well, then the European markets are going to be moving down. Let's move over to the FTSE here. So the FTSE here, um, we had this as a wave four here as well as an A wave, a B wave. And it doesn't look very good here as from B to C here as wave one here, wave two here, wave three here, wave four here and wave five here as wave four overlaps wave one. And even wave two looks like it's made a new high here. But if you have a look on the physical market, the cash market, you'll see that there's actually a really nice five wave structure down through here. So that's cool. We were looking to go long on the breach of this trend line here. So if you're long there at the moment, I would suggest taking part profit here. On this market here, I can count up as one and two and three and four and five here. But on the cash market here, it counts up quite nicely as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here. So we want to lock some profit in, in here um, and our stop is here. You either take all pro take profit here, all, all of it, uh, take all of it here take all profit here or part profit here. If you're going to take part profit here, then you're going to have to hold through this A, B and C wave here for wave two that can come down to this point here. So let me just adjust this here to take profit or take 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 it all there, take profit or part profit. Um, well, we're down here at the moment, aren't we? So um, that doesn't really help out. I'll just I'll just put it there anyway, you know what I mean. So, um, and you'd need to, the, the 7,530 here, the top of group one, that's close to the 61.8% mark here. And also 
also got nice demand at that point there as well. If the, for whatever reasons, the 7,520 becomes the retested resistance, you'll need to start looking at short, at being short at that point because we'll be, I've made a mistake, would have made a mistake at that point and we'll be coming down lower from that point. But otherwise, we'll look at this as one and two and three and four and five here for wave one and A and a B and a C here for wave two and then moving up here. So if you get out at this point, then we can move back in on support uh, on this new high, anywhere near that new high would be fine, in fact. Um, yeah, so basically protect what you have there at that point. Um, yeah, give it a little bit of thought. The French market, the CAC, just on the one hour chart here. We, um, this is a little bit sort of odd here as well. Um, I had the, um, the, the B wave sitting over here but because of that spike, I need to bring it in over here and look at all of this as a complicated B wave correction here in terms of an A, three waves for the B, and then five waves up for the C wave here for the B as an A, B, and C for the B wave and down for the C wave here. But that only leaves us one, two, and three legs here. So this can certainly be... Uh, an A and a B and a C correction here and we just come straight down from that point or this is going to be wave one here, two here, three here, four, four here and then five up through there and if that's the case then we'll see an A and a B and a C come back again and we'll move up higher from that point. So if we've been long here, I've moved the stop to this point here and I can move the stop higher from this point here into this space here. I don't want to move it down any further. Um, so yeah, uh, either part profit or take all profit here. And if this high is breached, then go long again from that particular point. But lock, lock it in so there's no loss there at that point. And let's take a look at the MIB. So with the MIB here, a slightly different structure. We've been counting up here as one and two, and then one and two, and th wave three here, and going up for wave five here. So I looked on the physical market, the cash market. This move from here down to here is a corrective move. So we should be making a new high here. So we can bring the stop up to our entry point here. We took part profit last time we spoke. Um, but we should be going higher here in this instance here. So follow that up with a trailing stop at that point. Um, we're still in group one here as well. So for 22,000, we've got 100, 200, 300 here. So if you're going to take money off the table here, then we need to bring that down to, say, 3,000 and... just above that high here. Um, if support is established on top of 300 here, well, then we'll get to 500, but otherwise we need to just bring that down here a little bit here on this, on this leg. Alrighty, uh, thanks for tuning in and thanks for the support. Enjoy the day.